Live from Studio 7E in Rockefeller Center, this is News for New York. Combat training for kids. It sounds like a ridiculous joke, especially given the events in recent weeks. But one local business has made a game out of it, and children are lining up. Here's Jonathan Vigliotti with his iTeam exclusive. An armed SWAT team navigates down a dark hallway. Their target, a gunman on a shooting rampage. They are images that invoke recent tragedies, though this is not reality. Attention, the training is now over. It's the latest in law enforcement training known as IR Tactical, a bullet-free approach to perfecting how to shoot to kill. But what was once reserved for anti-terrorism measures is now being placed in much younger hands. You're looking at an eight-year-old holding a true-to-life AR-15. This promotional video is real, and these live-action games are just a short subway ride away at a place called Indoor Extreme Sports. Inside this Long Island City warehouse, you'll find a bank, office space, and even what appears to be a school. Of course, it's all fake. It's an elaborate stage where pointing and shooting a gun at someone is supposed to be fun. While wearing a camera, I played the game. The gun I carry looks and feels like a real AR-15. Compressed air makes it even recoil when fired. Electronic vests, like the one I'm wearing here, light up when hit and can even tell you where you were shot. The game is incredibly realistic, and that's exactly what disturbs many in the law enforcement community. They're going to want to take it to its natural progression to the next step. Sal Lifrieri is the city's former director of security and intelligence. There are still secrets in tactics and techniques that law enforcement is currently utilizing. The thing that bothers me or the thing that scares me the most is that we're going to lose those secrets. Those tactics and those techniques is not something that should be made available to the public. IR Tactical was created by Wisconsin-based Universal Electronics and sold to the military and police nationwide. Last year, the company ventured into kids' entertainment, renaming the same system iCombat. Today, Indoor Extreme Sports is one of the only facilities with the game. There is no age requirement, and among their target groups, birthday parties. You get free pizza and soda. It's not okay to instill violence in children. Child psychologists say this level of realism is simply too dangerous for children. There's no question this increases aggression and it desensitizes them to killing. And it's a big, big mistake. Indoor extreme sports would not comment on camera. In a statement, Universal Electronics called iCombat a new version of laser tag that gets kids who play video games off the couch. A spokesman said the system is the same as, quote, any other toy guns, adding it's the harmless fun of tagging each other or playing cops and robbers. When it comes to law enforcement concerns, the spokesman said, quote, iCombat does not and will not teach the public or kids about police tactics. Critics, though, worry about how this game will channel some energy for those who may blur the line between fantasy and reality. You're giving them the opportunity to practice, you know, an assault, either on, you know, a building or a school. Unintended consequences are going to cause a great amount of problems. Jonathan Vigliotti, News 4 New York. An indoor extreme sports has no age requirement, but does say anyone under the age of 18 must have their parents' permission to enter the facility. Tomorrow night at 11, the I-Team takes an up-close look at who's signing up for these games, including the local teenagers our cameras captured on a school trip in the middle of the day. That's tomorrow night at 11 on News 4 New York.